I'm John Medina, author of Brain Rules for Baby. As I lecture on brain development across the country, I run into so many parenting myths, I just have to bust a few right now. Will playing Mozart to your womb make your baby smarter after they are born? Now, you've probably heard that college students who listened to Mozart scored higher on math tests. So, newly pregnant women might as well start as early as possible, right? Wrong. In the first half of pregnancy, your baby mostly just wants to be left alone. She's creating 8,000 neurons per second, for goodness sakes. Her ears aren't even hooked up to her brain yet, at least to regions that will allow her to perceive sound. So, in the first few months in the womb, Mozart will not affect your baby's brain. Not even the college study, you know, the one with college students and math scores, was ever successfully replicated. We now know that exposure to Mozart, as wonderful as he is, does not affect math scores. Not in undergraduates, not during pregnancy. This myth is busted. Can listening to DVDs boost your toddler's vocabulary? Talking a lot to your baby, using a variety of words, increases both vocabulary and IQ. So why not let a language DVD, made just for babies, do some of the talking for you? Well, it turns out that the words have to come from a live human being, or the brain doesn't discriminate between phonemes as well, and other parts of language. In fact, one study found that babies who listened to certain language DVDs understood six to eight words fewer afterward. This myth is busted. If you want a smart baby, should you start French lessons by age three and buy a room full of toys specifically to exercise baby's brain? Pay attention, this is going to save you some money. No commercial product has ever been shown in randomized double-blind tests, or even in non-randomized, non-blinded tests to do anything to boost a baby's brain power. The greatest baby brain boosting technology is probably a plain cardboard box, a fresh box of crayons, and a couple of hours. This myth is busted. How do you raise a happy child? The answer from the behavioral sciences is surprisingly simple. Have lots of friends. We know this from one of the longest continuous studies in the history of American research, the Harvard Study of Adult Development, now more than seven decades old. One way children can make and keep friends, brain science tells us, is being good at interpreting nonverbal communication. Doing this accurately takes years of experience with real live human beings. Studying a musical instrument for 10 years boosts this ability as well. Text messaging may destroy it. Learn more about raising smart, happy children at brainrules.net.